Hello Ambition Babes, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion, also known as the face of Ambition across all social media platforms. I am so excited about today's vlog because I am getting ready for my very first solo retreat. So my mentor has been telling me about the benefits of a solo retreat for years and I really have done them in my own way. Well, this is the very first time that I'm extremely excited to be leaving my space, leaving my home, packing and going away for a solo retreat. I'm calling it my reset, rejuvenate, realign with me self-care solo retreat. I know it has a long title, but it wouldn't be me unless it was extra, honey. I'm really wanting to plan out some things for the next 90 days. I'm really wanting to get clarity. I want to get really clear on some of my goals and intentions. And there's a lot of things that I can do in my office or at a coffee shop or in other spaces, but there's nothing like just waking up, ordering room service, spending the whole day in a bathrobe, like really just getting away from your normal environment, like your same old routine, like breaking it up and doing something different. So I'm super excited to be getting packed to go on this solo retreat. I wanted to pack with you guys, put some things in the bags and the things that I'm carrying on my solo. What did I call it? Now I got to remember what I called it. My reset, rejuvenate, realign, solo self-care retreat. I almost got it. <laughs> Super excited to be partnering with the Thompson Hotel to take this solo retreat. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for weeks. And today we're actually starting with a pool party and it has a French Riviera theme. And so we're doing something really classic. Nothing's more classic than black and white. I have this amazing hat that I've got from River Island like so long ago. I've never been able to wear it anywhere that I wanted to like really like make it like a whole vibe and so today's the day that i'm finally pulling her out i'm really packing a ton of self-care products like everything from my everything shower routine all the way down to like everything i want to do for skincare daytime and nighttime routine so i'm about to be packing all of those things and some really cute outfits to go to dinner and a ton of bathrobes because i literally plan on sleeping in bathrobes and chilling out the whole time that I'm there. If you've never taken a solo retreat or self-care retreat, it is so important to just being able to get realigned with yourself, with your purpose. And like I said, my mentor has been telling me about this for so long. She does so much of her planning and so much of like the organization of her thoughts. She, I think she goes quarterly and she's been telling me to go away and do it. So I've always done it in my own way where I'm like, I'm just gonna take a day where I lock myself in my office and I have, I order food and you know I get all of these things done and it's been really great but I'm excited about just sleeping in somebody else's bed not making up the bed if I don't feel like it I'm really looking forward to just operating on my own energy like I won't be around hubby or Friday I'll just be by myself with my own thoughts I'm excited to just rest I love being in my home. I love my husband more than absolutely anything, but sometimes you just need time alone and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I, I think I'm really looking forward to meditating the most because I do pray a lot. And as you all know, I set my timer five times a day to pray because I get a little fleshy throughout the day. So I need to kind of like tap back in and really pray, but I'm looking forward to doing a lot of meditating. Meditating is the time that you listen to God. Prayer is the time you talk to God, but meditating is the time that you really get to listen. And lately, I've not been taking enough time to really listen. So I'm ready to get packed. I'm ready to get going. I'm ready to get out of here and get my solo retreat started. I know that I deserve this and I've really been looking forward to it.
10 minutes before I'm late to my dinner reservation. So I wanted to film in real time my go-to 10 minute makeup routine that makes me feel pulled together and ready for a night out.
today is the final day of my solo retreat and you guys this was everything I needed I have been silent most of the time I've done really minimal filming I have really just enjoyed praying and talking to God and getting in nature and journaling sleeping in ordering room service and sipping this latte I just really believe in taking some time to yourself it's not because you're mad at anybody. It's not because they've gotten on your nerves. There's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with even my life. I, but what is wrong with my life is that I don't take enough time for myself. I do a lot of praying, but I don't do a lot of meditating. And a solo retreat, uh, though not frequent enough, is a time for me to really listen. It's a time for me to turn off all of my distractions. I haven't listened to a podcast. I'm not like watching any TV. I'm not listening to any lo-fi. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm really just listening. And it's an intentional time for me to do so. So I'm about to get dressed. Mm. I'm about to get dressed, but I wanted to share some of my takeaways from my solo retreat with you and really encourage you to find time to create your own solo retreat. I'm staying at the most beautiful hotel, the Thompson Hotel here in Savannah, Georgia. Um, and I definitely encourage you, if you have a Thompson Hotel in your city, you've got to stay there. They're, these are an amazing hotel. I've shown you a lot of the grounds, the beautiful robes, the linen, the showers, this, the rooms, the room service, all of it is just like, I mean top tier but if you cannot stay at a Thompson Hotel you could go to any hotel that is in your city or going to a cabin going out in nature going to the spare bedroom in your house and turning off the distractions honestly works I guess you all have figured out that I really love lists I love lists for a few reasons because I like options like I may not want just the one thing that you say but I like to give you all lots of options things that fit into your lifestyle, your budget, your city, your intentions, your ambitions, the things that you like to do. So I like to give you a lot of options so that you can choose things that you really like. So I'm going to get ready. I'm gonna do some skincare. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for today. But I wanna go over some of the things, some of the reasons why I feel like a solo retreat is important and some of the things that you can do while you're on your solo retreat. I've actually already mentioned the number one reason why I feel like it's important to go on a solo retreat. It's because it gives you dedicated time to pray and to meditate. Well, I'm sure that you pray every day, but how often are you intentional about just listening to the voice of God? I talk for a living. I talk. I'm a, I'm a business coach. I'm a business coach. I'm a mentor. I'm a speaker. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an influencer. I talk for a living. And do you understand how often I listen? It's rare, you guys. It's so rare and I hate it so much. So that's why I'm super intentional about the time that I take to really listen to God, to really turn within, to really journal, to really sit in silence. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to make us sit in silence because it's just important to not be afraid of yourself, to not be afraid of your voice, to not to trust your thoughts. You know, people always tell you, I trust my gut, but how do you know what your gut is saying if you're not quiet enough to listen? The second reason why I feel like being a, going on a solo retreat is important is because you get to pamper yourself. There's very few times that you get to really practice your thorough self-care. Pack all of your good products. Take that extra long shower without the hot water running out for the next person. Uh, just really, isn't this the time to do all the things that you want to do? Do the face mask, sit on the side of the tub and soak your feet. Sit in the sit in a nice hot bubble bath, soak your feet. Go to the spa downstairs at the hotel. Sit around in a bathrobe, watch TV, listen to a podcast, stare at the, stare at the scenery, people watch. Taking time just to pamper yourself is so important. And oftentimes in our everyday life, we just don't get the time. Sometimes we're like, oh, I can do it on the weekends, but the weekends are just as busy as Monday. So taking a solo retreat gives you the time to really practice self-care in, in unique ways. Doing the things that you would never be able to have the opportunity to do during the week is the time to do it during your solo retreat. The third reason why I feel as if a solo retreat is so important is because it gives you the opportunity to really, really focus on your goals. 
In the admission planner, there is a dedicated section for you to write out all of your goals for the quarter. And the thing of it is, is that we don't really take time to plan what we want to do. We say, I want to lose 15 pounds. Well, that's fantastic. How are you going to do that? How much are you going to lose a month? How, how, what are you going to do to lose that weight? Are you going to diet? Are you going to exercise? Are you going to fast? Are you going to get a personal trainer? What are you going to do to be intentional about losing that weight? Is really what you're able to write out in your goal section of your ambition planner or wherever you write your goals down. Being on a solo retreat allows you to say, what do I want to do? What are my goals? What are my ambitions? What are the things that God has placed on my heart to be able to accomplish this year, this quarter, this month? Being on a solo retreat allows you the opportunity to really sit with those plans. The fourth reason why I feel as if a solo retreat is super important is sometimes we just can't make really big life decisions amongst the noise of life. If you have big decisions to make, I definitely encourage you to take a solo retreat or a retreat with your partner to really spend dedicated time on making the big on making big life decisions. If you're going to take a new job, if you're going to quit your current job, if you're moving to another city, if you're planning on having kids, taking time away from the space that you always make decisions in and getting outside of that, really able to write out your thoughts, your goals, your plans, especially if you're with your partner or spouse, is an amazing way to make really tough decisions in the quiet and in a different atmosphere and an environment than you're accustomed to. Oftentimes, sitting at the edge of your bed, you sometimes tend to, that's where you make stressful decisions. If you've always made stressful decisions over your kitchen counter, try changing the space that you make those decisions. Sometimes a solo retreat can just be spending the day at a coffee shop. You can say, we're going to spend half day at a coffee shop today and we're really going to write out our goals, our plans. We're going to make these tough decisions. If you're really facing a really big decision, I definitely suggest that you take some time away from the environment that you're accustomed to. Get outside of that environment and really focus on the pros and cons. Create a SWOT analysis on yourself to identify some of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that you have within yourself when you're making that decision so that you're able to go into that decision with a lot of optimism, with sound mind, with clear thoughts, and a lot of clarity. It's official. I lost count of what number I'm on. I think this is number five. I think this is number five. But the last reason why I feel as if a solo retreat is so important, it gives you a chance to get away from people that you need a break from. Someone really smart once said, absence makes the heart grow fonder, and they couldn't be more right. Sometimes we need to take a solo retreat because we just need a break. Yeah, I love you, but I want to keep loving you, so I need a break. There is absolutely nothing wrong with taking a break from your kids, from your husband, from your spouse. Just taking some time by yourself to fall back in love with yourself so that you refill your cup, so that you have more to be able to give others. There is absolutely no way that I can give you the very best of me whenever I'm not my best. I definitely think a solo retreat is a good time to journal and pray, meditate, goal set, make good de big decisions, but sometimes you need a solo retreat just to sleep. I suggest getting some really good pajamas, turn the AC down, get under those triple down blankets that they have in any hotel, cabin, or even in your sp spare bedroom and hang up the do not disturb sign. This is the perfect time to mute your phone, put it on airplane mode, whatever you need to do to just turn off the distractions and be alone. If you want to fall back in love with yourself, your partner, your children, take some time away. Being away from those individuals make you realize how much I love and appreciate them. And oftentimes whenever you come back into that environment where they are, they'll love and appreciate you more as well.